Hey folks, it's Fridgar here. How you doing? We have a brand new series. I have finished up with the Hardcore series and I'm going to do something similar. We have got La Coronella. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. There are two versions of the map actually. There is a pro version and a standard version. So there, La Coronella. I have gone for the standard version because uh, I figured it would just be easier for me to cope with. Um, I, I don't cope well with uh, difficult things. Um, so that's what I've gone for on here. Now, we start off with a piece of land around here, and we've got all kinds of different bits and pieces that go with it. There's storage things. Um, there's a seed maker and, and stuff like that. So my plan for this series, this map is set, it doesn't actually say where it's set. It's set somewhere in the Mediterranean. Um, it's got a whole load of extra things with it. So you can see our standard crops right here. But we've also got some extras. There's chickpeas, there's lentils, which are the chickpeas and the lentils. We've got, uh, there's chickpeas in that field over there. Uh, lentils is in field 33 over there. Then almonds and pistachios are actually trees. Uh, there's one group of them there and there's another group of them over here. So I'm going to jump down to the charging station down there a minute. And I'm going to, ooh, careful. We're going to run out here. So I'm not doing it. It's, it's not like the hardcore series that I've done before. We've kind of done that and we're going to do something different. So this is basically I'm doing this as a realistic series. We're going to do this 100% realistic. Uh, well, not 100%, but we're, we're going we're gonna to play this um, with some realism in mind. So uh, here we've got pistachio trees. They're ready to harvest, but we don't own them. So we will get to those later, but we're not going to get to them at the moment. So we start off with a farm. We have a New Holland CH770, nice little machine right there. We've got a Fent 3300 in here. We've got a Deutz Far 7250 out here. And we've also got a uh, McCormick X8627. Right, so anyway, that's, the, the, that's the, the starting lineup of tractors that we've got. This farm is already a little bit established, as, you, uh, as I've shown you. Um, we've got this land here. So this is our farm, and then we've also got these fields. So you can buy the extra bit that goes like all the towns and, and the rivers and everything for an extra five million. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we've got land here across this little stream that we can buy if we want to later on. Um, we've also got land over here. We've got two fields at the moment that are ours. There's nothing in them. This field here is completely empty. This one did have uh, corn in it, but it's now been harvested. So at the moment, we've got that one as harvested and that one as empty, and they both need to be plowed before we can do very much else. At the moment, it's got the one day per season but I've actually changed the options to do two days per season I'm gonna get a tractor and we're gonna head out to a field and we're gonna start plowing and I'll tell you a little bit about what my plans are for this series so I'm wanting to do everything real I, I, I want a realistic series I, I'm not gonna like specifically go for hardcore I will be doing events oh this has got the this has got slightly different tires on it I don't know what sort of tires they are but they're slightly different I'm not planning to do um, uh, like the, the hardcore series where, where everything is just going to be really difficult for me because uh, I know a lot of you get really annoyed with that. Um, so I'm not setting out to make things difficult. I'm not going to have limitations like I can and can't have certain workers. I'm doing this as a realistic series, but I'm doing this as more of a farm management thing. So we've got a big farm. There's people that live nearby. We can employ whoever we want. So we will have workers whenever we want workers. I will aim to use workers at all available times. I will try to use workers whenever and as whenever I can and as much as I possibly can because I feel that that would be more accurate. I just think that that would be a better thing to do. There is a mod that I've got that opens and closes all doors and gates automatically. So um, it is good. The only downside to it is when the doors swing outwards and you're trying to approach them, 
uh, sometimes the, the trigger point doesn't work very well and it gets a little bit frustrating. So other than that, though, um, it, it is pretty good. I'm looking around to see if I've got a plow. You know, it'd probably be better if we look at the list. Uh, let's let's have a look in. We'll go into the shop and we'll go in here. Um, so tractors here. I've got this one, which is specifically for La Coronella. And uh, see, we've got some valuable machinery here already. Uh, we've also got in the miscellaneous, I've got a La Coronella edit for this one right here. It takes 13,000 liters of milk. I don't know if we've got many others. We do have a plow, a Cavernland, Ecomat. Right. All I got to do is find it. It's hidden here somewhere. So I'm going to find that one. And then once I've found said plow, we can start doing stuff with it. Um, we've got a, there's one of those is a seed maker. Actually, I can show you that in here. Uh, we don't have all we got is a chicken pasture at the moment. And I wasn't going to go big for animals just yet. I was just kind of thinking of doing other things. We've got a fertilizer master right there where you put slurry and digestate in. And you get solid fertilizer coming out. Now, I love to work organically. And I plan to work organic on this map as well. So I'm not buying any artificial fertilizer. But because we're making the fertilizer here, um, I'll use that. And that will just work like normal um, solid fertilizer. But we've got to get digestate and manure into it in order to be able to do it. So that's something that we will do i'm just going to deactivate that one because i don't want that production cost going and then the seed master over here this gives us seed we've got to put wheat and a bit of slurry into that one in order to get that one to work and again we will get on to that it's just we're not going to do it yet um uh, we, we have no other animals in here at the moment so if we go and have a look here uh We've got that one. There's a bucket over there. There's silage scrapers and stuff there. There's the milk tanker, stone picker, roller, and plow is up that end. Right, okay. So we want to go back down that end of the map, of the farm at least. Uh, I have actually turned stones off. Stones just irritate me. Um... I've kept everything else on. We've got weeds, we've got lime requirement, fertilizer, plowing requirements, all that kind of stuff. I've kept all of that in play. Um, I feel that that sort of would be quite cool. Um, and because I'm doing everything with lots and lots of hired help, then I think that will work out. So that stone picker that we've got there is basically pointless. Um, Although, what I might do is just on the off chance that there are some fields. I wonder what he folds up like. Some of them fold up. Oh, he keeps the wheel off the ground. It, like it, Some of them, they fold up and then the wheel goes onto the ground. But I need to do both of these fields. They've got to be ploughed. I'm not really sure what I want to plant yet. So I'm just going to start doing a little bit in here. We'll do a, a jaunt around the outside of this field while I chat. And tell you what I want to do with this series. Now, at the moment, I've got that on one time speed, and I'll keep it low speed until we've sort of established what we want to get started with, because I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't fully made up my mind. We do have little bits of texture on the outsides of the fields right there, um, which can't be helped. I could chain you know what i'll deal with that later I'll, I'll 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 worry about that later with with the the landscaping mode i'm not sure what options we've got for landscaping um so i will be having the um random events on this map i'm not doing one straight away to start with uh, the plan is to do one every season change um so i'm not going to tell you what the uh, random events are just yet because I don't know what they all are just yet. I've got some figured out. Uh, there will be some others and I'm going to have a balance between them. And, and the, see, the, these random events are going to be significant for our farm. They're going to make a difference to our farm. They're going to um be things that will happen that means that we will have to think of ways around it, but it's not going to be something that's going to completely cripple us like the whole idea of me just having one worker on my farm and, and nothing else. Um, that, that, that ended up being a bad idea. Um, so 
there will be an equal number of good events and bad events. We will have... Um, I, I, am, I am definitely going to be having a lottery win in there. That, that the lottery win is, is potentially going to be in there. And there will be a significantly bad breakdown event. So we have a vehicle that breaks down and we cannot use it until either a set amount of time has passed uh, well, actually, uh, two breakdown events. There'll be one where we can't use a random vehicle until a set amount of time has passed, or we have to go and lease one if we desperately need one. So, say our combine breaks down at a really inopportune moment, we just go and ha we would have to go and lease one in order to be able to have a combine to use for that um, uh, for the next month or, or whatever, something like that. Um, but there will also be a more significant and painful breakdown event where uh, we end up having to um, pretty much sell the tractor or the, the piece of machinery and then buy it back from the dealership. And the reason that we would have to do that is because the, uh, the, the breakdown is so significant that's how much it's going to cost. So, you know, we would lose some money on it but and then buying it back means that it, it's... Um, like it, it's not the complete end of the world so with that in mind that's quite a significant event now we've got like 200,000 euro tractors right here so if we sell a 200,000 euro tractor to the dealership we're going to get maybe 120,000 euros and then we've got to buy it back so with our event is potentially and especially with the combine and as we upgrade later we're looking at a potential loss on that particular event of up to 150,000 euros. So I'm not going to have the best um, positive event giving me 12,000 euros with a small lottery win like I did in the last series. The lottery win, which is the counterbalance to this, will potentially give us up to 150,000 euros or something like that. So I, I may just decide to do... Um, a dice roll, um, uh, roll a d20, and then have um, uh, 10,000 times whatever is shown on the dice. So if I roll a 20, I get 200,000 euros. And we potentially, if we get the bad uh, event, you know, if we get a, a major breakdown happen with our farm here and our tractor ends up having to go and, you know, or a combine or whatever gets sold we could potentially be losing a similar amount of money with very expensive machinery so that's the kind of balance i'm looking for if i've got an event that can cost us that kind of money then we have an event that can gain us back that kind of money as well and it's purely random um so i, I need to sort of figure out the exact details of it and i will let you know um, we're in August at the moment. In theory, I should have a random event straight away in September, but I'm not going to for September because I feel that it's, it's really early days and we're not likely to have most of the major um, disasters happen that quickly on any farm. So we'll skip the September one and our first random event will happen when we get to the season change, which is December. Um, so that's, that's the random events. The rest of the farm... I'm going to manage this. Essentially, what this series is about is a farm management series. Um, I'm going to play it realistically. I'm going to have as many workers as I want working in the fields because, you know, that's, that's quite realistic. We've got a big farm here. Well, medium-ish farm. It will get bigger. Um, because we've got... Well, we've got a few tractors, we've got a combine, we've got some machinery. We're going to want to get more machinery and stuff, and we're going to want to have plenty of workers working in our fields. I've got the economy difficulty set on hard difficulty, so we are not going to be getting vast sums of money coming in. I won't be using any unrealistic mods if I can help it, other than autoload. I will be using autoload. And I've had, like, a lot of people have given their... Um, point of view on autoload and that and most of you do actually think that using autoload is still well within the bounds of realism because of you, you, you're still loading your bales you, you still made the bales and you've gone out and you've loaded the bales just because you're not watching me place them individually on a trailer you don't need to see that in order to know that it's happening um so that that's kind of how i'm going to be going forward with it um 
the reason I'm thinking of keeping the stone picker is because you see, like, that field over there. We don't own that one at the moment, but uh, there are stones showing in that field. Now, if we were to get that field, those stones would be there. They wouldn't have any effect on us, but the stones are still visible, and it does irritate me a bit, seeing the stones there. So I, I might occasionally, like, enable the stones and then go and remove the ones from the new fields. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. I, I haven't really decided. Um, I'm not going to be using uh, trailers with, like, super large capacities. I'm not going to be speeding the machinery up. I'm not going to be doing any of that. So it, it is, it's a realistic, sensible series, and um, I, I kind of want to see if we can actually make this farm successful. I'd like it to grow, and I, I definitely want to be doing all of the different crops. At the moment, like, I'm sort of thinking that we focus on an arable farm. The problem with bringing animals into it is that you then have more things you have to do every day, and it does take an awful lot longer. Uh, the plus side of bringing animals into it is that we get a supply of slurry and manure and I do want to run this farm as an organic farm so I'm still going to have the issue of trying to find um, sources of organic fertilizer and yes we can do that once we've got some digestate but we don't have any at the moment and that I mean we could sort of start off fairly early with trying to do that. And, and that is one of the things on my list. Now, I'm just going to bring you over to there. And I've done twice round. So if I set the hired help going here, I'm hoping that the hired help will just carry on now and do this field. It's looking promising. Is there something else that I want to show you on this map? But, but we've got these extra crops and stuff on here, which I think is absolutely awesome. I think I did actually miss these bits myself, but I mean, that, that, that doesn't really matter. Um, plus, I still really want to get all these bits around the edge of the field. It, 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 it irritated me, the standing up like that. I think I did Lee. I think I did miss a few bits going around the field. Uh, I think I was, wasn't quite out far enough with, with some of it, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um... I wasn't planning to do much in the way of forestry. There is some forestry here. Uh, we've got, if we go back this way a bit, there we go. We've got that one there, which is the almond plantation. And then we've got pistachios down here. There's a um, plantation of olives, I think that is. Yes, that's olives over there that we could go and buy. Um, I don't think there are any plea, plea? pre-planted grapes on this map. I think that's about the only one that isn't on here. Uh, there is, however, yeah, you can see right around the edge there, it's got the, the corn, but that's not showing the field. So either I need to do some landscaping or I need to take the plow and allow create fields and just make it all a little bit bigger all the way around. I don't know what I want to do with that. Um, I wanted to have a look in here because there are quite a few different things that they've added in to this one. Right, well, it's not under grape technology. We do have the grape. I've got, basically, I've got every mod that I've got activated on here. I'm just going to choose not to use the um, the, the ones that I think are going to sort of spoil the effect a little bit. Uh, so I want olive ah there we go olives and so we've got this one here you got the almond pro this one you can use to harvest the almonds and adapted for olives la coronella that's a hundred thousand cheaper i'm not sure what the difference is for the olives here that's new holland parts that it's oil or something. Uh, not quite sure that there's something slightly different about. But anyway, so that's the almonds and the olives. The pistachios, I think the pistachios are actually... Uh, we've got marking spray. Would it be under miscellaneous or is it a new category? Stone grape technology. Might be under grape technology, actually. Um... We've got quite a few different things. that I've picked up some new ones here. That's a couple of the La Coronella ones because they've got a new type of fertilizer that you can put onto some of the stuff. Um, 
we've also got uh, those are Stevie ones. I'm looking for the La Coronella stuff in particular. There's various vineyard mods and extra packs. Okay, so there isn't any extra. There is. There's another mod that I'm looking for. It's, it's a harvesting mod. It's, it's one in particular. It's for harvesting. Here we go. I found it. It's under the miscellaneous. So there's a few more bits in here. We've got a methane tanker. We've got a couple of big tankers here. It's 13,000. That one's 39,000. Uh, these take this propane there, water fuel, um, and then we've got extra fertilizers. I'm not entirely sure what they all are, but uh, there's corn oil there by the look of it. There's this one and this one. They are to do with additional fertilizers for like almonds and stuff like that. Plus we've got mineral here, which I think is mineral oil. Um, then we've got a pistachio picker and we've also got an almond picker here. These go onto a the, the front link of a tractor or something like that. And then they go you go up to each individual tree and you give them a good shake and then um, you get the crop off of each tree. So that, that kind of like spreads out there and goes around the tree and it does actually look pretty cool so i definitely want to be giving that a go i'm not entirely sure what the mineral oil and stuff is there's a load of extra stuff on here this is why i picked the standard map and not the pro map because the pro map has got even more stuff activated on it and it's even more complicated so we'll let this track this tractor's going to carry on here there's Another thing that I wanted to show you, and that is up here. Now, I can't actually just jump up to it. It's this area up here. Now, if we go to farmland, you'll see that we own this place up here. Unfortunately, I can't just jump up there and visit. The closest place that I can get is the grain elevator right here. So, if I jump to and visit that one a minute. The other slight problem that we've got is that I am trapped. I did see this before. Um, that right there is a gate, and we 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 we, we can't we 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 oh okay we can get out. I, I couldn't get out before. Uh, it uh, doesn't open until nine o'clock. It's nine until nine. So at the moment it's eight thirty-nine. We cannot get in or get out of that one. So I want to take. We've got. A whole load of forestry right here and you'll see also there's a load more forestry over here i'll go and have a little visit uh some of that a bit later we won't worry about it at the moment but this is just like a little plantation of trees so we could go and buy this and then it's nice and easy for us to actually be able to harvest all of these but the bit that i want to show you is up over here so we've got the competitive zone mowing packing collecting and introducing in the indicated place plow field Poplar, pallet, skill, reverse maneuver with fifth wheel trailer. Um, there is another sign over here. I think this is Spanish. I'm not sure though. Uh, I I think it's Spanish. I don't know any Spanish at all. So it, if anyone can tell me, is this is this actually Spanish? Because if it is, then that leads me to the conclusion that this um, map is actually set in Spain rather than anywhere else. So I want to come up here and we open up the door. And this is La Coronella Zona Competitiva. Competitiva. Yeah, I did say that. I think so. Uh, so you've got um, like a, a little competitive track right here. There are signs and so on. That the fifth test right here. Um, oh, that's, that's lime there. Reverse maneuver to loading area. Fill trailer. Go to download area. Reverse maneuver to unloading area. And then uh, well, unload the trailer. Um, so you, you've got various different bits that you can do here. There's pallets over there as well. The fourth test, you take them from the shelf, transport without touching the cones, place on another shelf. Um, so I, I, I like this. This is really cool. It, it, it's carefully laid out. It's well done. Um, there's a couple of fields up here as well for plowing and harvesting and stuff like that. And the, the poplars up the top up there. So it's, it's a whole competitive zone that is all laid out. And I think this is really, really cool. Um, this is more of a multiplayer thing rather than a, 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 a single player thing. And there is a small pavilion over here, which I do want to just go and have a look at before we take any drastic measures. And I, I do have a particular drastic measure in mind. So here is the, the little pavilion and, and there's uh, 
benches for people to sit on while they enjoy their day out with the competitive driving going on. This would actually be a thing. I don't know if there's any specific places like this set out, but I, this whole kind of thing um, sort of shouts to me of an agricultural show and it's very familiar. I've, I've spent a lot of time at such events. Um, so, yeah, I actually really like this. I think it's well made. It's, it's, it's well laid out and you've got this lovely little competitive bit going on that you could use in here for... Um, I think that might be the ploughing bits at the top. You could use this for multiplayer. But anyway, for us, the glory of this comes in the fact that it costs 1.6 million euros. And we own it. So I'm going to sell it. Just like that. And that is where I'm getting my initial funds from to turn our farm into something a little bit more reasonable. So at the moment, we have got 1.7 million. Now, I would like to get some more machinery at some point with this. We've got a plough at the moment that is working in field 31. And I would like to get some more ploughing underway. Uh, there's the pistachios over, uh, I think actually, actually the almonds over there. That's 131,000 there. And then we've got another lot down here. And that's 103,000. So one of these is pistachios and one, I think that's pistachios. And I think that's almonds. Um... I'm not actually going to buy those yet. What I'd like to do first is I would like to buy a little bit more land. So I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to buy that one. And then we've got field 94 over here. I've no idea what's even in field 94. So we'll leave that one for a minute. And I'm not going to get any more. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to be sensible here. This is We're supposed to be being sensible with this. We do have an olive plantation here, which I actually think would be quite good for us to get. I don't know what number eight is, but I'm, I'm again, I'm not going to buy just yet. Uh, I'm going to go and have a little look around and we'll see what we want to get on those. Um, the other thing that I wanted was I am going to want to buy a few chickens to start off with. But mostly, right, so we don't own any of this anymore. Let's jump back down here. Mostly I would like a second plow because I've got... A plough working over here in this field, and it's doing a great job, but we're going to want more ploughing done elsewhere. So he's going to take a little while to finish this field. He's going to just keep plugging away at that one. Now, we also own these three fields now, so what have we... You know, I don't even know what we bought. Uh, one of them is oats, one of them has got nothing, and one of them up there is wheat. Are they harvested? Growth. The oats is ready to harvest. The rest of them, we've got nothing at the moment. Although that one is freshly ploughed. Which means that we don't need to do anything. And it's also got fertiliser. This one's going to need lime. Uh, we've got wheat in there. I don't want the hot spots. We've got ready to harvest on here. So let's go and get our combine. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.